Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to another video. This is the demo scene report of April 2024. As usual, I went through all of the news and highlights of things that happened in the active demo scene of this month, and I condensed everything into this uh, video so you can keep up to date with what's been happening in the demo scene. April is a particularly packed month because we have the largest pure demo scene event happening uh, in April every single year on the Easter weekend. Revision uh, took place once again. I was actually helping with organization of a few things there as well this year. So it was really cool. Really much looking forward to, to seeing it. Uh, before we get started, a quick reminder that everything is listed on the description below. All the links to all of the things that I'm mentioning here, everything you can find them uh, there. Uh, there's also a playlist on YouTube that you can uh, check if you want to see all the videos on YouTube of all the different things that were released. I put everything together there on a playlist for you to check out before running it on real hardware. A lot of things happening uh, this month, as I mentioned, so let's get right onto it. And the first item on the menu is the Revision 2024. Of course, as usual, happening in Saarbrücken, Germany, the largest pure demo party, as I already mentioned. Always a ton of things happening there. So let's take a quick look at the different competitions that took place. Uh, kicking things off, we had the 256-byte intro competition, which has been running for quite a few years now and always has some uh, pretty solid releases. This year, again, we had uh, quite a killer release winning the competition. But uh, first things first, Memory Inspector by Gub getting ninth place. Then a little Sense and Style intro with a lot of style in it getting eighth place. Uh, Hellgate by Wag with a typical... Um, Arctangent uh, effect. Uh, VLF by Boreal with some uh, good recursion there. Uh, Apollonchin by Kumal doing the, the typical uh, Apollonian uh, fractal effect. Uh, Pits by Jin X doing very similar effect as well for uh, 256 bytes. Polar Beat, a slightly different uh, static by Rjola uh, was a very interesting release as well. Got third place. In second place, the Spirit by Helmut of a Desire, appealing to the Amiga votes, uh, managed to put an Amiga ball in 256 bytes. And in first place, Remnants by Alcatraz, doing this mind-blowing uh, pseudo city fractal scene, uh, which looked uh, stunning and it got a lot of praise uh, for the party as well. So congratulations. Alcatraz for winning the 256 byte intro competition with one of the most uh, high quality entries of the party. Then we had the 3D graphics competition. Not many entries this year uh, yet again. The competition is definitely missing some love from the active 3D modeling uh, scene. Only three entries. Psycon got third place with Jeff's Misadventure. Uh, Virtual Miku by Raccoon Violet got second place. And in first place, Louisa with Don't Ask Me About My Business uh, won the competition. Uh, definitely could use more entries uh, as usual. Always feels like it's always the same people participating. So it would be really cool to see some new blood, uh, some people uh, participating again. This year in particular, they went back to only using Foxotron and not allowing Blender uh, to display the entry uh, to not give an unfair advantage. Maybe that scared some people off, uh, but the original point of the compo was to have it... Uh, exporting your model to fit the specific uh, format and use the specific viewer for that. So let's see how the compo evolves in the future. Meanwhile, 4K executable graphics, always very high quality, a revision uh, for quite a few years now. This year, once again, also had some very high quality uh, releases again. Hands by Solman getting 11th, then Zorg getting 10th place. Uh, Magaboom by Monterman with a very cool composition as well, with some pastel colors getting 9th place. 8th place uh, for The Big Bubble by P. Malin, uh, with some very photorealistic effects here. And very cool to see the revision logo on the on the background there as well, like on the, on the um, field. Um, really good looking image. I find it so weird that it got only 8th place, but we got some tough competition. Totetmat got 7th place with this really cool abstract uh, image. 6th place uh, to 5711 and Team 210. 
uh, with Twisted Hairline. In fifth place, Heavy Metal by Musk of a Brainstorm. Some very cool reflections there as well. Cool rendering. Uh, then we had Bite Puzzle by uh, Nusan. Uh, Filled with little details, I really love it. Just the, the thing of having the, the puzzle is already so cool and hard to, to code. But also adding also small details like the thick AD detail, the, the, um, the rail of the, of the window, the, the computer neons. So many little details here. Amazing image by Nusen. Uh, Fragments Above Self by YX, also really known for doing 4K executable graphics uh, on this competition, with some very conceptual piece here um, and a very good uh, paper rendering as well. And the cloth as well looks pretty cool. Um, second place to Chromatic North by Juvi, with a, a little wink at the trans flag things here, with a very nice photorealistic rendering as well. Boat on the beach, and in first place, uh, Felid by Mumak of a Spectrum with some uh, very nice fur here, or a fake fur, I would guess, but looks very realistic nonetheless. So, really cool image, and won the 4K executable graphics competition this year at Revision. Then we had the Amiga demo competition, 12 entries overall, so pretty good demo in terms of a number of participation. Um, the quality was also not that bad, it was pretty solid overall. 12th place to Outsiders and Russian Prestige with an invitation to Multimatograph. And then Astral Planes Preview by Galactic Dream Software. In 10th place, the AAU by Numpties. Uh, Vintage Glow by X-Men, also a very solid uh, Amiga demo. Uh, Toxic Model 2, The Attack of the Ego Bots by Zimosis got a lot of backlash afterwards, uh, after the party, for using some AI graphics and being a bit boring on the presentation side. Uh, interesting concept to do like a comic series out of the out of the graphics, but I think the execution lacked a little bit. But overall, interesting uh, production uh, to check out. In seventh place, Depeche's Mode demo by Spreadpoint as well. Pretty solid uh, Amiga demo there. Melon with a very stylish uh, paint uh, routine. Stayed a little bit overstayed its welcome in my humble opinion, but very good music and very stylish presentation as well. Um, then As Good As New by Offense in uh, fifth place, which is uh, cyberpunkish uh, featuring. Um, Reward Vision by Complex Offense and Scoopex with a little tribute demo to uh, one of their artists. Uh, Reward. Uh, backslide to Arcanum by Cosmic Orbs getting third place. In second place, The Color Out of Space by Amiga School. And the winner of the Amiga demo was The Deep Meat by Dark Edge with an uh, awesome uh, soundtrack here and a very uh, neo retro wave kind of feeling to to the whole thing really cool solid demo there uh, then we had the amiga intro competition which was also packed with releases and very high quality yet again uh poruka za amigo binary uh, got 10th place then water are blueberry by amiga scene all stars some little birthday demo for uh, blueberry Story for the Inconvenience by Void and Worst Covers in 8th place. In 7th place, Automated Raster Machine by uh, TRSI. Uh, it's a very uh, solid little uh, GUI uh, system there. Um, Demarination by Grongi and Sieb Crew. An invitation for uh, Multimatograph uh, emulating the ZX Spectrum terminal there on this Amiga uh, intro. A decent exposure by uh, uh, by Dub and Fnook, also very solid little intro. Um, branching off by Moots Plateau with some L systems uh, there. Uh, Dopamine by Dark Age, also very solid uh, little intro with some good music. Uh, Discipline by Spaceballs, completely destroyed uh, at the party place. Awesome little uh, intro. Amazing that it's an intro at all, considering how many scenes it has. Very stylish, very well put together. I thought it would probably win, but uh, the Twitch Elite ended up winning. Hoffman and uh, company the, did Circumvent, and a very, very good intro. It feels like it has this um, old-school aesthetic, but taken to the next level. So it's not just old-school, it's like old-school, but made with some new ideas, new fresh ideas. So very solid, well-made there, very crowd-appealing as well. So congratulations the Twitch Elite for winning the Revision 2024 Amiga Intro Competition. 
Uh, then we had the uh, animated GIF, which is the, also known as the Costume Fin Sprit uh, nonsense dance uh, dance off craziness. Uh, animated GIF by Ivana got 21 to place. Um, Glitch Master Pro by Pot FTK. Uh, then some um, um, sheeps and wolves and snakes and eye blinking, uh, a roulette of endless shots. Souvenir Shadow Party 2022 by Callisto. Um, Spectrogram by Renoa of Mayhem. Uh, CP by Stormcaller. Sparkly Thing by Commander Homer. Miku Spin by Raccoon Violet. Dog and Cat the Standard Couple by Black Lynx. Uh, Sunrise Supernova using the Tick 80 here. Doku and Finn Sprit uh, by Mikaleos. Um, then uh, Unreal Focus Design did this Colder Showdown. Um, thing reminiscing of the Shader Showdown uh, events. Negative cues by Yugasin, nice animation there as well. Uh, Shader Showdown, another re reference to Shader Showdown, this time by Beftex of Pooh Brain and Turbo Analysis. Uh, Love Lorn Lost Cause by uh, Emma Gusington, uh, really, really cool uh, image here as well. Um, desktop Disco by Halsey getting fourth place. Uh, Shall we play a game by Loso getting third? Second place to Wally the Kefabrican bus by Stab and Tibbs, uh, which this one was probably my favorite of the compo. Uh, Never Lose Focus by Louisa getting first place uh, in the end. I think the third place is to exact. Oh, no, second place to Wally. Okay. Um, congratulations, Louisa, for winning the animated GIF uh, competition. Always very fun to. Everybody was dancing at the party place when the music was playing. So a very chaotic competition, but uh, really interesting uh, images. Then we had the animation video competition where you can send your video entries. There are not strictly demos. There was a credits the movie by Mikaleos, uh, a movie about uh, credits. Invitation to a shadow party happening in uh, France. Um, another invitation, but this time for the zoo demo party happening on Halloween's uh, weekend on in Finland. Uh, another invitation, but this time for Outline, for the Ascension Weekend. Uh, Frozen Wilds by No Gap No Bacteria, little uh, video with some retrowave uh, sounds. A little bit overstated, it's welcome, in my humble opinion, should have been edited down a little bit, but uh, nice aesthetics overall. Um, another invitation, this time for Nordlicht in ninth place. The Amiga Coaster by Fleming Marshmallows which I, was actually an animation demo, they did like this whole... A roller coaster inside a remade or uh, e-work uh, system. So a lot of 3D modeling and animation going into this. That was pretty solid entry overall. A solid rigid jar by Slipstream doing some very cool uh, video mapping projection on uh, a van. Really cool uh, video entry as well. Uh, Mitraga by X Men with this weird Amiga versus Atari merging of the worlds uh, religion thing <laughs> happening. Got sixth place. Then the Mataflex by Polinski was one of my favorites at the combo. Excellent breakcore IDM uh, soundtrack here and very well synced uh, visuals on it. Completely loved it. Only got fifth place. I think probably because it's not very known uh, as a name in the demo scene. And it felt a bit like external to the demo scene. Not really playing to the cliches of uh, the demo scene. But I completely loved it. So uh, thank you, uh, Polinski, for that submission. Uh, it was really cool to see. Mainframe by Howjob. I found it weird that Howjob was doing a very long dark ambient video. I thought, huh, this looks like Visualize. And it is visualized, so that makes sense. So visualize releasing stuff under how job name uh, once more, and it's a very typical dark ambient piece from visualize. Joan ambient, uh, ethereal, uh, alienish sort of visuals uh, on it. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, in third place, Orion by Rebels, a more traditional. Demoish animation and second place back forever by LFT with this little gimmick of uh, a perpetual uh, video loop. Nice idea, a bit too simple. I was expecting it to place a bit lower on the on the competition, but people really love LFT. I love F LFT as well. I just thought that this video in particular was just a quick idea and not really you know something worthy of getting a second place. 
And on first place, we had technical barriers and oscilloscope demonstration by the Bus Era Collective. They have been doing a lot of stuff with oscilloscopes in the past. This time, they made it something particularly targeting the revision German audience with some uh, really cool twists and ideas of doing this retro presentation of uh, talking about the future, but past in the past. Um, they also have some uh, good use of some uh, artificial intelligence generated stuff here and uh, not just used as a filler but as a way to do some content creation that wouldn't otherwise be possible so that was also very interesting to see worthy uh, thing i love the translations in particular was also very funny so i think worthy winner overall uh, to this animation video compo at revision uh, executable music competition was won by uh, Joss of uh, with uh, Dreaming Waves, Joss of Software Failure. Uh, second place to Ten Four, third place to Aladmir, and uh, a lot of other people also participating. Fantasy console competition was happening for the first time at Revision this year. Was expecting quite a few good releases. Uh, Gen X with a little tribute uh, demo here um, in solidarity for a terrorist attack. Uh, Divigation by Shushang for the Pico 8 uh, Hackfest invite for the TIC-80, invita inviting you to participate at uh, Hackfest uh, later in the year. The Universe Chart version, a quick uh, thing made in TIC-80 by Marsu of Spectrals. Really cool, solid looking a little intro, maybe needed some uh, uh, better music or more scenes, but nice little effect overall. Uh, Picotronic by Quadtrip exploring the latest release of uh, Zep of Pico 8 fame. A uh, new, new system that was released and this I think this was the first official uh, demo made for it. So we're really cool to see that. Uh, Ultra Mega Super Duper Revision Tro 2024 with a new funky mode by Rift. Also a quick party production made. Um, was cool, was cool for the TK80. From Haksar with Love by Haksar, uh, also did a nice little Tick 80 uh, demo. Uh, Palette of Palettes by the Swedish people of Zorp and Jurel, also exploring the Tick 80 with some um, interesting little tricks. They uh, used uh, sprites on a different way, they used custom palettes uh, uh, as well, so really uh, funny little demo. Um, more a massive demo that was done by the practitioners of Lua Mega Demos, of which I uh, contributed a scene to, a little tribute demo to a Mantra Tonic who has been uh, going for some health problems, couldn't attend uh, revision this year, and we decided to make a demo uh, congratul thanking him for all the things that he did for the for the Tick 80 Fantasy Console uh, at revision. He was the first person to release a Fantasy Console production. At Revision, he helped popularize both Pico 8 and the Tick 80 in the demo scene. He uh, was uh, pitching all the time uh, ways to improve the, the Tick 80 uh, functionality. He did the VJ system for the Tick 80 that I also used in the past. He's an awesome person. He's a, he's a great friend and we, we dearly missed him at Revision and we hope he gets well soon and can visit us at demo parties again. So... Get well soon, Mantratonic. We want to see your Irish ass back at the demo party soon. Preferably at Revision 2025 Fantasy Console uh, competition, maybe? Let's see. So, uh, so yeah, a little tribute demo to Mantratonic there, which I'm really happy with. Then we had Timeline 2 by Made Mars and Virgil, which was a very cool surprise to see uh, French people and Virgil helping with the sound. Uh, and they they took they used Tick 80 well. They abused the the palette tricks on it. They, they had a custom palette, a custom image loader bigger than the memory limitations of the Tick 80, which is known techniques to us people who've been doing Tick 80 demos recently, but might not be so uh, known to people new to the Tick 80 platform. So a well explored Tick 80 demo, solid demo, high quality graphics, good use of uh, of the limited color palette and great music by Virgil. I think a very welcome, uh, very deserving second place. And the winner was The Mind by Haljub and Sweet 16. I have been here for the Pico 8. I've been hearing Hellfire talk about his Pico 8 demo for years now. He's been working on a demo, but it's not ready yet. 
He has some scenes, but it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. And he still was not ready yet. He had was missing like a scene or like a greeting scene or something. But it was an amazing demo. Um, all of the knowledge that he has from the limited um, restrictions of the Amiga and all that stuff. He put it to good use. Very good use of, uh, of the palettes. Excellent graphics. Uh, excellent music. Virgil did a phenomenal work with music. Uh, abusing the... Um, the ah i want i don't want to say the wrong name um so pico 8 is a special channel where you can do specific kind of sounds uh, different from the usual uh, chips the chip sounds that it has i think it's an fm i'm it's probably wrong i'm probably saying it wrong but you can do sound in two different ways and uh, they wanted to complement each other. So I think uh, the bass part of the sound was using this uh, thing and the rest of the of the frequencies were using the normal tracker, normal tracker on Pico 8. So for Virgil to make the music, he had to play two trackers at the same time simultaneously to get a, a, an understanding of what it was sounding like. So a lot of work to make this sound possible under T under Pico 8. Really good demo. I think well-deserved winner for the competition. And I'm very happy with the Fantasy Console uh, competition at Revision. I think it proved to be a success. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing more Fantasy Console uh, competitions happening in the future. Moving on to other things. At Revision, we had the Fast Music uh, competition, which also had a very specific theme. It had to be like hip-hop from the 80s, but with this uh, special attitude. Uh, really interesting entries. Uh, in the end, it was won by Inverse Phase, a visitor from the United States, a uh, long-time demo scener who's been doing some stuff on the United States as well. For many years now, he visited Revision for its first year and won the Fast Music competition with Obshi Dushi. Um, also, a lot of other cool entries. Definitely check it out if you like. Uh, if you like to have, uh, if you like to listen to some fun music, uh, this uh, compo delivered a lot of cool stuff. Then we had the game competition happening at Revision as well. A little uh, Castle Shooter remastered version for the Scratch uh, PSX Life for the PlayStation. Just doing Game of Life. Um, Little uh, browser game developed by uh, Calodox, where you just roll a ball and eat other uh, balls. Uh, then we had a little shooter, which I, I didn't really understand how you would play it, by called Mass Invaders by Void and RB Mind. Uh, you Can't Be Serious by COSI TW, which was used like the Gantt charts to make a little game out of it. It was actually looking pretty solid uh, conceptually and, and aesthetically. And I definitely want to try uh, playing it again. I haven't had time for it yet, but I was hoping this would place higher. In sixth place, the Magic Bean Boy and the Case of the Missing Beers by Noctis of RBBS. Just a side scroller platformer. Fun, I guess. Uh, Tim Trees 09 by Zarko Z uh, Zivanov. Uh, um, a Tetris uh, version. Uh, for the the specific old uh, machine called uh, the Tim 091 or 011, something like that. Uh, then Agony by Doc K uh, for the Robotron KC87. Platform points, very limited platform. The visuals were not that appealing, though. It would not be a game that I would play. I think it's even a conversion of uh, another game this platform so props for the conversion in that regard but still most of the levels didn't seem playable to me uh hypernoid zero was a more solid uh game cybernoid dish uh cybernoid cl clone i guess hypernoid zero by bitplane technomates solid game for the amstrad cpc Second place, Skillander by Hackers and Hitolito, which was a very good wtf moment uh, at the party um, so Hitolito, they organized these meetings at a um, ski cabin resort in Finland for demo seniors for quite a few years now. And uh, Hackers has this uh, pseudo retro aesthetic sort of thing, like uh, appealing to the early 90s uh, vibe look of things like Doom and Quake and things like that. So they made this specific, like, it looks like Duke Nukem 3D, but going down the slope. So it's a ski simulator, but with those 90s aesthetic sort of vibe going. It looks 
badge. <laughs> well, it looks like what the games looked like in the 90s. I wouldn't play them today, but it's it was funny in a way. Anyways, got second place and an invitation for uh, Hitolito at the same time. And then the winner... Global by Oxygen, a very more solid game. I think it's a port for the Amiga of an original game, but uh, you could see on the gameplay that it has a lot of attention to the pixel art quality. And also, in terms of the puzzle logic, it had a lot of different ways to play as well. So very much more complete game in that regard than uh, the other games that were shown. So I think it was a worthy winner uh, to the competition. Uh, then we had the Modern Graphics Competition, also known as the Oni Compo for a lot of people. Um, Suicide getting 14th place there with a little uh, comic. Uh, 3D in Love by PCH of Unreal, doing a list uh, rendering of the uh, C64. Uh, Kakemono by Sense and Stall getting 12th place. Nice conceptual little piece there. Uh, some um, Bryce rendering by uh, Mikaleos in 11th. Uh, 12th place uh, drawn by Atanua. Uh, in in ninth place, Kao Mao. In uh, eighth place, uh, Gusibol getting um, doing this drawing of the last moments of the cat. The Pixel Mouse love story by Callisto getting seventh place. In sixth place, the end when it came by Elman. Uh, then Entrapped uh, by Surround getting fifth place with some three D with two D graphics mix there. Um, fourth place, The Fall by Eloy. Very nice drawn image there. Uh, Across the Void 2 by Made of Bomb. Breath breathtaking image as usual, made quality. A uh, lot of attention to detail, very complete image. Uh, in second place, Cult of the Cryo Sleeper by Darki of uh, Teko Tuotano. Uh, Darki won last year and also been winning Finland, uh, Finnish demo parties with some pieces and. Amazing, amazing work here. Uh, very high quality uh, stuff. I think it's mostly drawn, but I see some stuff that's probably rendered. So I think it's a mix of both uh, techniques. Uh, it might be just all completely rendered with a specific um, rendering style. I'm not sure, but it looks really cool. And in first place, Historian by Oni of uh, Pool Brain. Uh, Oni is known for doing all this character world building behind all the images that he does stunning work a lot of attention to detail i just love it um very cool uh, modern graphics competition a revision again this year so congratulations to everyone who participated hard call uh, but congratulations to oni for winning it uh, in the end Old school 4K intro competition for anything that is old machines, Commodore 64, Atari, Spectrums, uh, within 4 kilobytes of uh, executable. 68K inside 256-byte intro was released by Xtreme, uh, inviting you to 68K inside demo party. Uh, another one also made by Decadence for the Atari ST. Uh, Truchette by Kashi. Uh, for the ZX Spectrum, uh, got 10th place. Uh, Lava by Spreadpoint in 9th place as a single plasma effect. Undated by Alcatraz and Desire. A little reference there to Antude voting on Puet, always saying, eh, it's okay, <coughs> to every single production. Um, 28756 by Excess. A little uh, crack intro here by, uh, by Excess for the Commodore 64. Uh, Atari 2600 also got some love by Rebels, by Listelotte, I think made by Schlumpy. Uh, I remember this had a nice mix between the music and, uh, and the visuals. Um, also for the VCS by, by Flush, uh, Like a Candy. Uh, then for the Amstrad CPT, uh, CPC uh, by Arcus Benediction and Denti Fries, got in fourth place here. Uh, third place, Plasmoid by Okutu Forge. Second place, Chromatic Destination Resource for the Commodore 16 Plus 4. And the winner was Four Seasons by uh, Binary for the Amiga OCS, with uh, packing a lot of uh, different scenes. Um, well, one scene in particular, but several different variations of it. A very solid, stylish presentation as well, so I think it was a worthy winner uh, overall. Congratulations, Binary, for winning the Old School 4K Intro Competition at Revision. And the Old School Demo also had quite a few entries. Uh, uh, Acne by Insane for the Commodore 64. Another Invitation Intro by Nico for the ZX Spectrum. 
uh, Dreamforge unleashed freedom for the for the MS DOS. Was also cool to see some MS DOS uh, thing being shown. So very basic intro. Commodore 64, another invitation for the flashback symposium. Uh, come join us by Benediction Antifreeze, Hardos, and Shira, and Vanity. Ooh, why don't they just make a new group? Uh, but for the Amstrad CPC, um, in fifth place, Nostalgy by Lethargy. Very cool for the NES. Very simple demo, but uh, very solid as well. Reviction by Desire for the VIC-20. Always cool to see some VIC-20 stuff. Such a limited system. Uh, then in third place, In Black by Darklight. An offense for the Sega Master System, of all things. An invitation for the Black Valley demo party happening in Norway. Uh, in second place, Push by Bit Shifters and Torment. Also very cool effect there for the Acorn Archimedes. And in first place, uh, Ghost Nop by Futures and Pulpo Corrosivo. Uh, a more complete demo for Amstrad CPC. Had multiple very good scenes uh, there and got a lot of love by uh, by people after the party as well. And that was it for the old school demo competition. Let's take a look at the graphics for the old school machines as well. We had uh, quite a lot of entries for the different uh, platforms. In 10th place, Shroom's Drummer by Elman. In 9th place, also for the CPC, we had the Rise of a New Shah by Rexpan. Uh, in 8th place, Roland and Gru by Beb of Vanity. Really cool image as well. In seventh place, this is Bjorn by Tomek of uh, How Job. Really cool uh, anti aliasing uh, trickery there. Uh, Rendezvous at the River by Prowler of uh, Nectarine. Also, very cool image with some dinosaurs. The Butterfly Effect by Sulevi. Really stylish Commodore 64 image. Fourth place, Bunny Explorer by Farfar. Farfar is always so good doing pixel art. Completely love his stuff. Uh, third place, Panda Amiga by Facet of Lemon as well. Very interesting use of uh, of the palette colors there. Uh, the Woman in Red by Vasil of Joker. A very solid pixel uh, image as well. And in first place, The Old Man and the Muse by Stefest of Desire. A lot of intricate details there. I was a bit wondering if this was a conversion of some sort in, in terms of the, the face of the man. But it seems that it's actually pixel work. And Stefest is known for doing a JavaScript uh, version similar to, I want to say, Pixel Draw, or like a modern pixel editor for the um, for JavaScript, which I have talked about before in, in this uh, video reports. It's also pixel artist, stunning artwork here. Very well done, Stefest. Uh, very cool image. Um, old school music competition was won by LFT. Second place to Ace Man. Third place to Yoga Little Dal. Uh, I managed to listen to this uh, compo at the party place. It was really cool quality compo, like diversity in terms of different systems. High quality in a lot of these tracks. So definitely check it out if you like uh, chiptune music or old school music. Uh, definitely worth uh, listening to these tracks. PC 4K intro combo was one of the highlights of a revision yet again. Always so strong uh, at the revision. They also have an 8K, 8 kilobyte intro competition, but the 4 kilobyte always seems to still be gathering like the cutting edge of what is possible under 4K. A uh, lot of filler entries early on. And then we start getting to the more serious productions from Trash by Tio and Tifeco, with some nice STF use there. Uh, Island by Craft P, also very simple uh, uh, STF effect uh, there with some uh, good shadows. Uh, As they left the docks by Epoch, using some uh, fractal systems to make a very solid 4K intro for Linux. Uh, Noctilentia by Writer, very stylish uh, production as well. Uh, great music as well, one of the favorites of the compo for me. Uh, then we had Once Upon a Time in the Data Center by Iapa Foto with a little storytelling as well, which is also very hard to do in 4K, so props uh, for that. Uh, Oriette by Loonies, extremely stylish, very good looking renderer, very solid music. I was expecting it to place higher, actually. Um, at this particular like steampunkish sort of vibe to, to the looks as well, so I really love this one. Uh, fourth place, mind blowing shit as usual by Observer. Brain filler, uh, doing some very cool post effects, and then the music was also good. Amazing stuff. I'm a, I'm an Observer fan, so uh, so also was expecting this one to place higher on the competition. 
Third place return to the nature by Sylvia. Really cool, uh, very good looking uh, butterfly there with uh, with some nice post processing uh, on it as well to make it look extra stylish. Good shadows, good rendering. Uh, well done, Sylvia. Second place, dub plate by the dynamic duo LJ and Virgil. They've been doing so many 4Ks in the past. LJ is a master at uh, visuals, at storytelling, finding the right aesthetics. Virgil is a master at doing 4K sounds. Uh, they did another very good piece today, um, making reference to the to the to the dub plates of vinyl. From what I understood, that was the point, like uh, vinyl cutting and and vinyl vinyl grooves. Um, was expecting a little bit more from LJ and Virgil because I've been so uh, so badly used to to them being so top quality. It was still a very solid 4K intro. Um, it just I, I I I'm so spoiled from having seen the stuff that they do that this one felt a bit uh, underwhelming compared to the stuff they had made in the past. But it was still a very solid 4K intro. Would still uh, recommend people watching it for sure. Uh, was surprised that it got second place. Was expecting it to place lower because they had so much competition, but it ended up placing second place. So I guess a lot of other people liked it uh, more. First place we had "Drifting Shore" by Newson. Extremely good rendering on this. A lot of small uh, trickeries here. Uh, liked it very much. Was not sure it would win, but I think it deserved win. A very very hard competition overall, a lot of good quality entries. So congratulations, Noosing, for winning this year. Um, yeah, I can't stress enough, 4K compo this year was felt like one of the best compos uh, again. Talking about the good compo, 64K is known for also having some killer productions now and again, always with those high hiatus. Uh, this year, only five, uh, com five entries. Shader Nouveau by Matling had this very stylish uh, looking effect. Uh, Marching Cubes algorithms by Imibis felt a bit of a filler. Uh, Temper by John and Doc, solid production, didn't make full use of the 64K in my humble opinion, but very solid uh, intro nonetheless. In second place, Naunakia in Cyanis by Cerebrum in Imperium, also known as Brain Control. They are back doing 64Ks after a few years hiatus. Uh, very solid scene building, storytelling, uh, rendering. They had water, they had uh, all these lighting effects going. So very cool intro, which would easily have won had not Conspiracy decided to play the game this year. They've been working for, I think, over five years on this new tool of theirs to do the new stuff, uh, allowing DirectX 11 to be part of the, of the process. And they made a stunning intro using this particle uh, system, very basic particle system, but the, the post effects that they had on top of it, uh, matching music, everything very cinematic, uh, vain, totally beautiful, mind-blowing scenes on every single uh, scene that was showing. Uh, it, it ended up winning the public's choice uh for the overall party as well. So that that goes to show you how how well taken it was at the party place. Really cool, solid intro. Um, Empires by Conspiracy, highly recommended. 8K intro competition, uh, not very good this year. It uh, was a bit underwhelming considering what you can do in 8K, what you can do in 64K. The 8K still feels very much underexplored. Revision is pretty much the only party that has the 8K, so it, it feels weird. Evoke is up in the summer by acronym Analogicer. If it was like one third of the length, it would have been okay. Overstayed its welcome by miles. I was completely almost falling asleep during this production. Please don't have a production running for 10 minutes. Please don't do that. It's just a single scene. You know, Keep some dynamics. And I, I know I, I'm known for showing long stuff in the past, but usually there's a point to it. There's like a direction. There's like a name. It's not just showing the same thing for a very long time. So please keep that in mind. When you're presenting something to an audience of 700 people, please try to be respectful in terms of their time. Just a pro tip. Uh, Snartob Gib by uh, Flaming Marshmallows uh, getting third place. Uh, solid little intro there, but nothing uh, particularly new. 
uh, SP04, the cube by Space Pigs, felt like it could fit a 4K, to tell you the truth, so I wasn't very impressed with it. Uh, but it was stylish, it made its job. Uh, and the winner was uh, Prake and Stokel. Uh, Break and stolen by Nuance, uh, with some a little sheep there and a terrain generator. Um, some parts of it looked good, the other parts of it looked a bit unpolished, so overall a bit underwhelming for a compo winner, but thank you Nuance for submitting uh, an 8k nonetheless and, and working on it. It's always good that we see more, uh, more intros. Not sure what the future of this compo is. I think uh, Revisionals already has too many compos, and this would be one that I would personally cut, but I'm not compo master there. Frankie is, so let's see what happens in the future. Meanwhile, the PC demo competition also had quite some good entries, not as many as last year, thank goodness, but we also had quite a few things. Uh, invitation for Outline with some uh, references to Fanta here and 18th place. A uh, few filler demos, the bad debate of should the cheese or the ham be on top, uh, that's that's a timeless thing. Concoction by Copernicun, a fast made entry also uh, made to support the party, also very cool music and uh, uh, fast thumping uh, effects. Uh, Mivan by Lunaticats, also another uh, Demo submitted, back in business by Dub, uh, making a little fun of uh, the possible Tersak 2024 that might or might not be organized. Uh, apparently Tersak is under a management uh, re-evaluation and uh, they will uh, give more information soon if the Tersak is going to happen or not again this year. Every little thing all together by Shanti, very particular looking aesthetic, which I found appealing. Overall, the demo was not very memorable, but the aesthetic itself was pretty cool. Uh, Apotech by Baya and Punk, a little demo. Story demo about what happened on uh, one of uh, Punk's first demo parties uh, and his quest to find an open uh, pharmacy in uh, Germany. 11th hour by Sleigh Bells, uh, very stylish but also very short, should have, should have had a little bit more build up in my humble opinion, uh, but it was still pretty solid demo overall. Uh, vertical Hold by Nuop, also very solid demo, had a few different uh, scenes that were well built, good pacing overall, uh, didn't overstay its welcome much and had a few uh, good references. Evoke 25 by LJ and Wildfinder has the peculiarity of running entirely on the browser without JavaScript. So everything is uh, CSS uh, 3D transforms, which is interesting and managed to do its job. I think overall it worked pretty well as an invitation for Evoke. Had this specific uh, feeling, vibe, energy to it. Very uplifting mood, as Wayfinder usually does in his music. Visuals matched it very well, so I think it was a very solid demo. And interesting that they were only using CSS uh, transforms and no JavaScript whatsoever. Seventh place on NATO Frenia by Hork. Also a very uh, solid little demo. Harvest uh, by Damage, exploring the... Um, uh, I want to say they are Gaussian spots. They might not be Gaussian spots per se, but they definitely look like it. And uh, good effect, good exploration. Uh, it didn't completely come through in the end in terms of a magnanimous demo, but very cool to see it happening. And also cool that it was multi-platform as well. Uh, in fifth place, Infinite by Aberration Creations, a more abstract a little demo uh, from our Polish friends. I really liked it as well. Also an invitation for Xenium, I believe. Um, Ten House of Gate by Suspend, also very solid demo. Uh, a reference to, uh, to uh, Blade Runner uh, as well. The image on the face of the person looked a bit weird. Like the lighting, the teeth, it feels like overly white by reasons that I couldn't understand. The demo overall had a lot of different scenes, and it was a solid demo. Might have been too long, I would have edited it down a lot more to make it more rewatchable, but a very solid demo overall. Um, Sisyphus Unchained got third place, like um, The Legend of Sisyphus, but adapted, remixed, revamped into something else. Sisyphus Unchained. Uh, cool to see ASD at Revision for the first time in a very long time. Uh, and uh, cool to see another reuse of their technology to make another demo a bit overcrowded, in my humble opinion, with a lot of things happening at the same time. 
Uh, so you definitely need to see it again to get all of the little details and understand how everything came together. But an interesting demo nonetheless, a very solid demo by ASD. Azura by MFX was another very solid demo as well, very good vibe, feeling, ambient on it, uh, matching visuals as well. Uh, dark drone, ominous, like I like it, cinematic, uh, so uh, really totally my cup of tea, really like this one as well. And got second place in the compo. And the winner was uh, Rainmaker by Bite Trapers and Doomsday using the Notch engine. Uh, they did a very cool demo up using a lot of its uh, technology. A very solid demo, good on graphics, good on different effects, uh, good on different uh, 3D things. So very solid demo overall. Uh, congratulations Bite Trapers and Doomsday for winning Revision 2024. Uh, other compos that happened at revision, the paint over competition is always fun. They give you this prompt image. You have to make guess uh, things out of it. Particularly cool to see the steps that people take, like where they saw the different things and how they came up with the idea for, for their images. Um, a lot of cool quality images. I'm going to skip to the top five. But you can see some really quality stuff. And this is all drawn in 48 hours, so extra kudos to that. Bizarre of Curiosities by Sule getting fourth place. Astrology by Unreal getting third. Uh, second place, Rippling Ribbons by Faith of uh, Duangle. And first place, Siren by Likan of LNX. Congratulations, Likan, for winning the fast for, uh, for winning the paint over competition. She won already last year as well, or she got third place. And she always usually participates. Uh, her and Faith, so they always they always usually duke it out. So really cool combo uh, once again. Photo competition also always has a lot of entries as well. Um, a lot of different things. It's different from the usual compos at Revision, and that's one of the appeal to it as well. Uh, you see some weird things virtual reality this one appealed to me a lot because it's it was already an art installation of uh you can see the people inside a cube just looking at the vr things uh so really really cool um reference to the amiga balls so this got amiga points uh flubby eating a cherry by fred eric uh, emergence of the ethereal i actually was expecting this to win because this is a pure photograph but it has like a window of some sort and uh, a shape on the background and i don't understand really how the um, light rays uh, show up there if it's just a photo could it be overlaid photos i'm not sure but looks really cool really interesting uh towards techno by mr acryl of uh, anadun as well nice reflections there being used uh Royven of dandy um with a very nice capture of i think a crow uh and uh, then the Eye of the Beast by Ilaway, taking a photo of her eye. Streaming music competition was won by Turbo Knight. Second place to Alizius, third place to Purix. A really good compo overall as well. Music compos at Revision are usually the most packed compos in terms of participation. There's always some pre-selection of tracks, so all the tracks that end up played are usually of very high quality. Text mode graphics competition, um, uh, also always very good at revision. Uh, Unebula, the releasing a little uh, Petsky graphics uh, entry here. Um, Future Tro also releasing something. It's just arrived by Toshi, uh, doing some ANSI work. Um, more Commodore 64 Petsky art by uh, Dries of Amid, uh, Adept April with some ANSI work, uh, the Endless Part 1 by Spinny, also uh, some, uh, some blocks, uh, MS-DOS blocks ANSI. Everyone Loves the Nightlife by Green Herring, more ANSI work, uh, Petsky getting 4th place by uh, Diamond Fever by DK, Gifts of My Life by Aki, a very long uh, ANSI that caught a lot of love at the party place, Deep Deep by Necro of Fire, also very solid piece uh, with some little diver person and a shark there, also very cool. Uh, and the winner was Gas Station Murder by L-Man uh, for, the, for the Commodore 64. 
Really cool compo, always a lot of interesting entries here. Uh, congratulations, Alman, for winning. Track music competition was won by Day Tripper and Hoffman with second place for Dubmood and Zabuton. Um, uh, then we have the wild competition. Uh, wild competition are for uh, entries for platforms that don't fit on any of the other uh, compos. So we had the Risk uh, Risk V uh, entry by Ward and Xylem. We had some um, video animation stuff, which probably shouldn't be on this compo. Should be on the animation compo instead. Um, a blue saxophone by Void by the for the Amiga uh, music disc, and we had quite a few music discs happening at Revision this year. A simple introduction to Piet by Michaelos explaining the Piet programming language uh, with a little video. Analogic music disc by Analogic, another music disc, but this time released for the browser. Very stylish looking uh, GUI as well. Chipiria number 11, another music disc. As I mentioned, this one for the Amiga OCS by the Chipteria, Chipperia Project. Uh, Lazy Space by Wildfurs, uh, doing some stuff for some custom hardware. The presentation was not the best, so really overstated. It's welcome as well. Edit down, people. Edit down your stuff. Uh, focus on what's important. Uh, Scene Lake School Play by Skin Jarvan Ala Est, uh, a performance which technically speaking should probably be on the animation but I guess it is a wild anyways a far yen performance of some sort um chip chop 17 by desire another music disc for the amiga this one getting uh, seventh place also in seventh place another music disc also for the amiga melodies 2 by resistance a lot of music discs this year Sixth place, one of the favorite demos of the party as well. Immaterial by Slipstreams and St. Vincent and the Grenadines for the Wii U. Uh, there's also a making of uh, article uh, explaining how they did this. Fifth place, Cortex by Decadence for the PlayStation Portable. This is PSX for the new generation crew for the PSX for the PlayStation. A uh, statement on the platform wars, and this was particularly interesting because they had the same file opening on multiple different uh, systems and formats at the same time. So that was the appeal of the whole thing. Very cool presentation as well, so well done. Uh, second place, Scroll by Blindry and Winnet Hell. They had abused some uh, browser elements before in the past, and now they come back and do some more uh, stuff. And pretty well done, pretty solid. Good music as well, so good presentation. And in the winner was Bad Aeon by Shido 8-Bit, which took a few old phones and made Bad Apple play in them. Like four phones at the same time interleaved, and a really cool conversion algorithm to make use of the whole uh, different displays. Uh, good use of Bad Apple. I think even, even Truck agreed that this Bad Apple was pretty solid, well-made demo. Uh, so congratulations, Shiro 8-Bit, for winning uh, the wild competition at Revision. Uh, more stuff still happening at Revision. We had a pie champ for the Tick 80 with four people participating in a loco. Uh, we also had a massive shader jam doing visuals for Hoffman versus Teal with 31 people participating. Uh, I think around half of them were at the party place and the rest was remote from all over the world. People in Japan stayed up to participate. People in, in uh, Chile, in the United States, all over the place. Uh, really cool to see. I was happy to do the VJing uh, for this. Um, more focus on the live set than the actual live coding, but I think it was really cool. And it was a world record. We never had 31 people uh, coding at the same time before on these kind of events. We also have the usual uh, shader showdown, uh, three-way, uh, as it was uh, last year already. Uh, we had Evil winning the first round, and uh, Nusan and Punk, and all of them did an amazing work uh, also on the finals that we did. Uh, the novelty this year is that we used a compute shaders, uh, or a compute shader hack. You could read and write from a specific texture. Uh, a couple of people abused that, Writer Evil, and I think at least one more person used it uh, throughout the thing. I think, it was was it Zorg? One of them used it uh, for some stuff as well, but in the end, Evil was one who took uh, the most advantage of it to do something that, uh, a point cloud of some sort. Um, really cool, he ended up winning, congratulations Broski for winning the Shader Showdown. 
once more. So that was it for revision, but there were more things happening at revision. There were the seminars, which were really cool and you should definitely check it out at revision at the revision uh, YouTube channel, which is here. You click it's stuff here. Uh, so definitely check out the, the videos here of the different uh, seminars and the post party stuff as well. I will add them on the links of the playlists as well. So that was revision, almost one hour just for revision, but it was worth it because it was a really cool party with really a lot of different um, entries of high quality value. There are quite a few other things happening this month, though. A lot of demo scene related media also was released uh, throughout the month. So let's take a quick look at that as well. And we're starting off with the web demo exe released by Pandur, a way to encapsulate um, your web demos into a single executable for Windows, um, which uh, kind of replaces Electron, but it's more lightweight, so really cool uh, to use. Uh, then we had, um, well, related to that, there's a, also a web view uh, thing that does similar job, but not quite the same. Uh, it's more cross-platform uh, as well, uh, but worth checking out as well. If you are doing web demos and would like to encapsulate them in a viewer of some sort, uh, you can check these two uh, things. Then PT Weekender is coming up on uh, this coming weekend on Friday, I believe. Uh, Friday 19th, we're going to have... Uh, actually, two days. 19th and the 20th. We're going to have um, a lot of people doing back-to-back -back, uh, live sets on Twitch using their Amigas to play some mod music. So uh, check out Nikki D, uh, Junglism, XXM, Tio, DJ Ness, Snakebite, Titus, DJ Formula, Hoffman, Xcopy, Seagulls, Retro. Uh, all of these people will be uh, doing some stuff on Twitch. So check it out this weekend. Uh, there's also a trailer that they released announcing it as well. I'll link it on the playlist. Uh, then there was this uh, cool episode by Nick Kotick released uh, talking about the history of uh, Fairlight. Uh, they've been doing some videos about the history of the Commodore 64. Uh, they've been doing some research on that and they focused this one particularly on Fairlight, doing a lot of research on Fairlight's uh, start progression and a very cool presentation as well so well done uh, Nick Kotick and you should definitely check it out if you're interested in this sort of things uh, then we had a, a couple of uh, articles written by Boise regarding their latest released conspiracy intro uh, he wrote an article about creating a tiny windows executable and then he wrote another one about uh, the file formats that they use with their minimal engine and uh, so yeah if you want to do 64Ks, a must read. A couple more things also related to these tools. Uh, they use the KKP format to put their stuff. So they also published um, a compression ratio analyzer for their intros through their KKP uh, files. And there was also a version with uh, Crinkler, uh, a version of Crinkler made that uh, as a KKP export. So we can use Crinkler for uh, comparing some things with that as well. Um, moving on for Commodore 64 things, um, Bacchus of Fairlight does his usual shows. This time he interviewed a stranger of uh, HMD, RBS, and DLG. Um, very known person on the Commodore 64 scene. Very lengthy interview, two hours. You can see there, two hours and 40 minutes overall. A lot of interesting uh, information there. Um, about uh, mostly the Logos project that they've been working on. Uh, also an interview with Galahad and a more hands-on approach with them talking about how or showing how to crack an Amiga entry in particular and talking about all of those kind of little details. So if you liked uh, cracking or interested in how cracking used to be done in the Amiga, uh, this is a must-see video. Galahad explains all the little steps that they used to make, uh, the little different programs that existed, the things that he used to do. Um, so yeah, definitely worth uh, checking it out as well. Uh, but there are more things also happening. We had the release of a new version of uh, cables uh, with uh, the usual list of improvements that they've been doing. People use cables a lot to make demos, so worth uh, keeping up to date with the new operators and things that happen there. 
Um, then there was an uh, article written by CCE uh, about shader post-processing in a hurry. So how to do a few little things on your shaders that makes them look 20% uh, cooler. Um, really cool article written also in the beginning of April. A new version of Multipaint also got released just in time for you to do some ZX Spectrum graphics for Multimatograph that's happening this weekend or for Synergy 2024 that's happening in three weeks from now. So uh, yeah, check out Multipaint. Uh, M-Range did this uh, little vanity project, I guess, Windows Terminal Shader Gallery. So a terminal for Windows where you can use uh, as background a random shader or, or you can select what shader you want. Uh, so if you want to like have that hacker aesthetic of being coding with some effects happening on the background. Now you can do that. Thank you, M-Range, for uh, allowing us to be distracted by backgrounds. Uh, so yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, this is a really cool project. Um, then there was also a release of this uh, very looked after uh, PhD doctorate, what's it called, a thesis. A thesis released by Hagen Nordley a few years back. Um, that talks about some uh, parts of the demo scene here. It had been thought lost for a while and Mark managed to dig it up and put a copy online. So if you like, uh, if you like dissertations about uh, early, early internet, um, how do I call this? Um, well, they're looking for the female hackers. So they're looking into computer communities, looking for female representation there, uh, which used to be a lot less than it is now. And uh, it goes through the process of the different going to different demo parties and different events and looking for those kind of people and uh, asking why they're not present and trying to figure out the while. Uh, too long didn't read was because your daddies many, many years ago told all the girls that computers aren't for them. Uh, hopefully it will be remedied in these coming generations and we'll have more women in tech. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, next up, we have a C -Log C Logistic by uh, Star Chaser, a little tool for the Tick 80 to allow you to do some some uh, fancy uh, stuff. Uh, Road to Revision 2023 was written by the Exist uh, demo group that uh, participated last year. I think they got second place at uh, the compo last year. There were newcomers with some help from Made and some help on the music, but there were newcomers to the demo scene. They made their own tool and they finally managed to finish. Um, they were nominated for the Meteorix Awards and stuff like that. Finally managed to uh, write um, uh, a write-up explaining all their tools and the different things that they went through the process. So if you're... Getting into making demos, this is a good read to understand the different things that you need to do to make a demo that might reach the top three at revision. It's a lot of work if you want to do everything from scratch, do your own engine, do your own 3D, uh, learn about you know composing tools and stuff like that. So uh, really cool that you um, that you can read about it and understand a bit more about the process. So I highly recommend you checking out this write-up. More things. The Cookie Collective has been opening a call for random effects without sound, and now they're doing the reverse. They're doing a call for people to do sound uh, for the effects that they already have. Uh, up until March, 31 of March, um, you, it, April, uh, 31 of May? 31, I, I, I don't know month and month. January, February, March, April, May. Until the 31 of May, uh, they are opening a call if you want to submit some uh, sounds. It can be procedurally generated. It can be, uh, it can be made in many different ways. The information is the, on this website, so definitely check it out. More things. I also found this video about the making of Wonderland 14, a mythical demo for the Commodore 64 that was released last year. A really cool video released explaining the different parts of it. Uh, so if you like making demos for the Commodore 64, I'd just like to hear about uh, the process. You should definitely check out this video. 
Uh, more things also worth mentioning, Sin Gen 68K released by Super Rogue, uh, usually uh, originally for the Atari, now got a, a version also for the Amiga. It's a very tiny sinus generator uh, function that you can reuse uh, for, for your tiny size productions. Uh, and it was put out by uh, Super Rogue. Then we have uh, SizeCoding.org, which also got a lot of attention recently. A lot of these uh, pages got uh, remodeled, updated. Uh, some pages got added for the first time. So check out all the size coding updates as well. Then we have uh, uh, the slipstream um, writing of about Immaterial, their Wii U demo, the first demo made for the Wii U, uh, was a very good demo, as I already mentioned before. Uh, didn't place very well at revision, but it was very good uh, overall. They talk about all the different things, setting up the tool chains and uh, the creative process, so very worth uh, reading through as well, especially if you like the Wii U in particular and want to make something for it. It is a must-read. And last but not least, uh, fresh from the oven released yesterday, a shader minifier interface and validation library for Python, released by Listal, uh, one of the members of Team 210. So uh, yeah, check it out, especially if you're doing uh, size-limited things and you need uh, a more modern uh, shader minifier, this might be for you. Oof, and that's it in terms of demo scene-related media. And I know we are running late, but we still have a few more things to show. Uh, out of compo releases, yes, there were a few people who released a few things outside of party despite uh, revision just happening. So let's take a look at those real quick as well. Um, if you want to be happy for the MSX, was released by uh, Too Loud. Uh, then we had the party packs by Art State Party Pack 17 and 18 with the revision uh, demos uh, ready to run. Demos and intros. Few intros for the Commodore 64 as well. Style is Inmate by Padua. Uh, GB Tetris title screen by Okuto Force. Uh, then a couple of music discs by Art State with some music for the Amiga as well. Fat Tracks Volume 6, 5 and 6. Uh, then we had this little prompt something something by Istari for the Amiga OCS, which I have no clue what it is because I haven't seen it yet, but I guess it simulates a prompt of some sort, and people liked it, so check it out. Um, a few releases on Bandcamp, which I was wondering, should I include, should I not include? They are releases, they are made by seniors, uh, but some of them have price tag on it. I don't know if I should include it or not. I ended up including them, so Little Bitchard uh, released this 11 remixes for Nada um, compilation at um, Bandcamp of some remixes that he did throughout the years, and you can uh, get them for free. You just put buy them for zero dollars, and you you get this uh, thing on Bandcamp. Another release on Bandcamp was a response by Planet Bolex, which have been featured on many different um, demos in the past. Also released some entries on the net label scene for uh, quite many years. Uh, you have to pay for this one, though. Uh, one of these entries was used as soundtrack at a revision entry, if I'm not mistaken. But you do need to pay 5 euros if you want to have a digital copy of Planet Bolex Response. Uh, another album that's also been released and you also have to pay to get it was Meet Me by the Panamax Barricades by Polinsky. Polinsky participated at revision uh, video competition with one of the tracks that are listed here and with an amazing video done for that track. So if you want to have the full uh, EP of uh, tracks, you can buy it here. It's also limited as a... Uh, 12 inch floppy vinyl. I don't know what a floppy vinyl is. Is it a floppy disk or is it a vinyl? Is it a vinyl that fits on a floppy? I guess so. Interesting. Um, more things. Graffiti jumper intro um, by Blazon. Uh, Party culture by Art State, which I have no clue what it is. I think I've seen it, but I don't remember it. It has some AI generated graphics. Uh, 2,400 members in Facebook for the demo scene logo gallery is a worthy uh, cause to celebrate as much as any. They did a demo about it on the browser using cables because they could. Uh, then we had the intro 07 for uh, for your mother. Um, nice little intro there for the ZX Spectrum. 
Uh, it's more fun to compute for the Commodore 64 by TSJ. I have not seen this one, a reference to Kraftwerk apparently. And then the seven voice demo made by a format of 8-bit uh, doing some virtual voices on, uh, on, the, on the Commodore 64, which is interesting to listen to. And these were the out of compo releases that we had for April 2024. But wait, there is more. We also had a few smaller gatherings. So we had a psycho, uh, psycho hack happening in uh, uh, Hull in uh, England with a few little intros for the Atari ST. Just a small Atari ST gathering, but had quite a few different supports. Uh, going by Spice Boys, a little uh, demo there. I got invited by Psycho Hike by Modula. A new version of uh, Maximizer by Gwem also got released there. Uh, all the collaboration with Dubmood and Mod, a nice little uh, demo. Spacebar, a game by Dagnao. Uh, Tom Tektronic by Effect, a reference to the Tech Tech demos. Uh, overpacked screen full of different technical things scrolling. Vitae, a little 128-byte intro by Marky Design for the Amiga. And Wetro by the Atari ST by Avina, Psycho, Hacking Force, Tom and Gwem also released here. So a nice little meetup in Hull in uh, England, keeping the Atari scene alive in uh, United Kingdom. So really cool to see as well. And wait, there is more. One final thing before we leave. The VCC27 also took place. A little meetup in uh, Austria. I had a couple of small uh, games and tools released and also a little uh, picture interpretation challenge. So it's a little bit like the paint over, but different where you had to make reference to this little image that you see here. Quickly going to browse through them. And yeah, so... Uh, Nice little meetup. It's cool that you there are these kind of meetups, especially if you're in Austria. It, it gives you a reason for you to keep in touch with the demo scene and attend these things and, and try to keep in touch with what's happening. Uh, last but not least, I wanted to show you the top of the trumpets, which is taking a look at Puet and the uh, intros there are in top places here. Uh, Remnants by Alcatraz, as I mentioned, was one of the most favorite of the party. Empires by Conspiracy, very closely forward. I was actually expecting this to ra rate higher at Puet. The Mind by Ahau Job and Sweet 16 for the Pico 8, also killer. Ghost Knob for that won the wild competition. Discipline by Space Vault got second place on Yamiga Intro Compo, uh, also got placed. The first place is listed at number 8. The winner uh, game entry by Oxygen also got some love. Uh, Fragments of Self by YX is one of the highest uh, ranked uh, executable graphics on Puet right now, which is a bit weird considering it placed like sixth or something like that. Um, a pseudo by MFX also getting some love. Rainmaker, the winner demo, uh, also placed here. The Deep Meat by Dark Edge, the one the Amiga Compo. Uh, Sisyphus Unchained, new demo by ASD, and uh, a few other. Uh, compose entries also listed here so full with uh, revision entries uh, this year we have um, Puet and Top of the Trumps and that's it for this month uh, last thing we have to check out before we leave is the upcoming demo parties there are happening I'm having a little uh, meet up right here in Almada uh, momentum if you're in Lisbon, it's on the other side of the river. If you're in Almada, you don't have to cross the river. But we're having a meetup to get together and talk about uh, demo scene stuff. So show up uh, 21st of April, it's on Sunday, uh, here at uh, Ginásio da Sociedade Filarmónica in Crivel Almadense. Or get in touch through um, Discord uh, with us. Multimatograph is happening uh, the weekend after. Um, uh, in Vologda, Russia, it's a demo party, mostly for old school platforms. They have a, a Amiga compo, they have a lot of ZX Spectrum competitions, but they also take modern stuff. So if you do a modern Windows demo, they will also be accepted there. Then we have a Gemtos convention for the Atari happening in France. 
synergy uh, dedicated to the ZX Spectrum happening here in Cantanet that I'm also helping organize uh, in three weeks' time. Then we have Outline and X happening at the same time in uh, the Netherlands because they are weird like that. A birdie was cancelled, so not happening in uh, Sweden. The crunch happening uh, the following month, the following week in um, Poland. Also in Poland, the Moonshine Dragons Commodore 64 party. 68k inside happening in uh, Finland, dedicated to the 68k computers. Layer 1, which is a sub-party of a hacker conference, is going to be happening in the um, United States as well. And then we have field effects at the end of the month uh, happening in um, Ledbury. Ledbury? Is that the name? That's the name of the place. The EMF camp where they also have field effects. So yeah, I know a lot of things happening this month. One hour and 15 minutes. It's not my fault that revision happened this month. Uh, I am considering maybe switching the format a little bit so it's like a bi-weekly sort of thing, more focused around things, shorter videos. So I'm planning that. Let's see how those plans work out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video despite its length. Hope to see you next time. If you enjoyed these videos and would like to see more like them, please, please, please consider supporting me through Patreon. Patreon.com slash PSNF, whatever you're willing to donate, would very much be welcome. I, for example, need a new hard drive to do backups of uh, things. I also have an Amazon wish list if you would like to donate hardware uh, directly. Um, please, please consider doing so uh, because it's what helps me keep doing this lifestyle of being able to do content creation on a regular basis. So yeah. Also, if you can't afford uh, to, to support me financially, that's also fine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please share this video with a friend that you know will like this thing. So someone who's been away from the demo scene, someone who might be interested in computer graphics, please try to share this video with them. It goes a long way to uh, keep the demo scene bubbling and new talent come up and people coming back to the demo scene. I think it's a good way to keep people interested uh, in the demo scene, so please do so, and it also helps uh, the, the channel uh, grow a little bit. So yeah, that's it for me, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, bye bye everybody, have a great day.